Hi students, welcome to today's class. I hope all of you are fine and safe. Students, in the previous class we discussed about democratic government and non-democratic government, merits of democratic government and the fundamental rights. Today we will continue the chapter. Students, observe this collage. Some situations related to the denial of rights and attempts for their protection are highlighted here. Violation of right triggers attempts to protect them. In modern times, rights are commonly referred to as human rights. Human rights are those rights that every human being is entitled to. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. Here are a few rights included in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights which came into existence on 10th December 1948. Right to leave, right to freedom, right to freedom of association, right to occupation and right to preserve culture, language and script. Right to leave means the right to leave with dignity, pure air, pure drinking water, sufficient nutritious food, etc. come under the right to leave. The government of India has taken a number of steps to protect human rights at the national and state levels. The most prominent among them is the formation of the National Human Rights Commission and the State Human Rights Commission. The formation of National Human Rights Commission is an important step in the direction of protecting human rights at the national level. The commission is constituted under the Human Rights Protection Law passed by the Parliament in 1993. The commission comprises of five members including the chairman a retired chief justice of the supreme court will be the chairman of the commission justice ranganath mishra was the first chairman of national human rights commission next functions of national human rights commission enquire about complaints related to the violation of human rights visit jails to study the life situations of the inmates and make recommendations give necessary instructions for the protection of human rights and promote voluntary organizations that work for human rights state human rights commission are constituted in all the states kerala state human rights commission came into being in 1998 it consists of a chairman and two members the functions of the state human rights commission is same within the state as that of national human rights commission at the national level in instances of violation of human rights one can approach the human rights commission so students Today we discussed about human rights the rights included in the universal declaration of human rights and the formation and functions of the national human rights commission and the state human rights commission so that's all for today we'll meet you in the next class with the continuation of this chapter thank you